Hi everyone, this is Christina. So today, I'm going to attempt to make some cupcakes. I'm not very good at making cupcakes. But I will definitely give it a try. I have a little, quite a few bottles of fragrances that are like one ounce. So I thought the best way to use those is in little cupcake tarts. So here we go. So, I'm going to mix in my fragrance. And this is a hot cocoa. I'm not sure exactly how much this will make, but let's see. Hi Tony. Say hi. Hi. What time is it? Um, two forty. Two forty. When? <laughs> I don't know. In the morning. Yeah. So he came down here, and he thought I was making what? Brownies. <laughs> and he said my soap smells like. What does it smell like? Like s'mores on Christmas. <laughs> So I guess that's a good thing. If he came down here at almost three o'clock in the morning saying my soap smells like s'mores on Christmas morning, that's pretty good. So let's see. Let me get myself together and I'll be right back. Okay. Wow, that's pretty thick now. Okay, I did do a little bit of a water discount. Well, not a little bit. Probably a little bit too much. I should have just kept it full water. But, oh well. I'll just have to manage. I'll be like Kimmy from Alamo. She's very good at this. <laughs> I love watching her videos. I seriously do. <sighs> she makes me laugh, so 
All right. Uh, okay. So I want to say hi to Karen for stopping by my channel not too long ago. And also say hello to Holly. And who else? Let's see. Everyone. Say hello to everyone. All my subscribers that have been watching my videos for a long time. Thank you for watching and sticking with me. Okay. So these are little pots that I've had for a long time. And I think they're gorgeous. Cute little flower pots. They're definitely too big. But I don't know, I was gonna try to do something silly. I'm always thinking of something. I don't know if it's gonna work. But, we'll see. Why do I want to do this? I don't know, maybe because it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I cuckoo lala. Okay. So there's that. I will leave it just like that. And why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'll just do one. And then I will work with the rest. I'm not even sure if I'm in the camera. No, I'm not. So sorry. Okay, here I am. See, that's one of the reasons I like to put a song over my videos. I'm really not the best video maker, for sure. Okay. I think I want to do that one like that. I don't want to fill it up all the way. And then, yeah, you want to do that, don't you? My stick blender almost fell on me. I might as well use this one in here too. Okay, that's good. And then this. I don't know why I want to do that, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. Oh, that stick blender. It's just totally asking for trouble. Totally. Okay, we'll see how that turns out. Probably crazy, but this is fun. Okay, here's another tart. So I'm not really in the camera that much. Okay. All right. I wonder what else to do right now. I guess. Let's see. 
have some of these cute little hearts. So maybe I have enough to make a heart. Maybe. Okay, so here's my piping bag. Not really good at this, but I will definitely give it a try. Okay, so I'm finally done, and I don't even want to mention how long that took me. But anyhow, here's these guys. Um, this is the coffee raspberry, and I put some Ely coffee on there, espresso. Oh, just this stuff, and it's so good. I'm not going to tell my husband I did this. So, if anybody knows or is familiar with this coffee, this is really good. And this is um, Italian espresso. So, that's what's on top. So, that would, will probably provide a little bit of exfoliation. And I do have some cosmetic glitter on there and also some sugar hearts. And right over here, this is the uh, raspberry cocoa. And these have some cosmetic glitter on top and some sugar sprinkles. And then I did these over here. And don't ask me what they are, but I was being creative. Ha ha. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't know. We'll see. I will unmold them tomorrow and um, take it from there. And then I had some um, leftover soap. So... I made some raspberry cookies and these have sugar sprinkles on them and they also have um, Himalayan bath salts sprinkled so it kind of looks like crystallized sugar thank you for watching bye bye good night hi everyone this is Christina so I'm just gonna show you the cupcakes how they turned out I've unmolded them this morning so this is the um, coffee raspberry and it has uh, espresso coffee sprinkled on top and the sugar candies sprinkles so those are them and I think they turned out pretty cute and then and then I wanted to show you the bath cookies and this is how they turned out and I also think they're adorable. Um, let me pick one up and show you. Here's one. 
and they're a good size and they have the Himalayan salts and some sugar sprinkles on them so that was one of my other fun projects and then I wanted to show you the raspberry cocoa cupcakes and this is how they turned out and I think they're just absolutely adorable they have the cosmetic glitter and also the sugar sprinkles these are the ones my son loves so I hope the scent stays there after the cure but they look great even if it doesn't <laughs> and then I made the two little hearts and these will turn chocolate brown so there's that and then I wanted to show you my crazy pots that I did thank you so I thought this was cute for my bathroom um, it was, yeah, difficult getting the soap out. I really should have left the top pot unfilled so I could just kind of easily peel it off. But, um, I put some soap balls in there and I also rolled just a few of them and some rose petals and... Um, this is what I use. I use a tea and it comes in a jar and I buy this locally and it's full of beautiful roses. But of course I bought this just for soaping and it's just gorgeous. So I roll those soap balls in there. And um, this is, let me show you how this pot came out. So, okay, this one's one of the pots that looks cute. So I think I could set up like a cute little display either in the guest bathroom or in my bathroom because it looks beautiful. It has a really nice, um, like a Victorian feel to it. This is one of the little pots. And that's like a broken pot and I really wanted that effect because it looks rustic and it looks beautiful. So I kind of just placed that in there. And some soap balls and they do have a little bit of glitter on them. And these will stick. They're still a little soft. So this is just for me for my bathroom. I thought that was really cute and it looks great so just wanted to share that with you and I have a few more pots that I did these came out pretty cute so yeah that was just one of my spur of the moment ideas um, I wasn't gonna make the soap balls but I decided to maybe next time I'll put some flowers or something in them but I thought that's a really cute display and even this pot itself, it has the balls in it, soap balls, and it uh, just looks really cute. And I love it. I All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope everyone has a nice week, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.